Well, actually, uh, in the year 1999, we have engaged consultants to conduct an information system strategy for the immigration department. And actually, the Smart ID Card project is one of the initiatives that is recommended within that uh, information system, system strategy. So, uh, well, actually, it was at a time when our old ID card system is reaching the end of its life expectancy. And so we need to have a new system in place by the year 2003. So uh, after the consultants, they have uh, uh, made the recommendation that we should uh, uh, have a smart ID card for a new generation ID card, then we do the feasibility study. And why we need the smart identity card is because, first of all, our identity card is a very important document in Hong Kong because by law, uh, all residents here need to carry their identity card as proof of uh, identity. So uh, we need to issue a very secure identity card for the purpose of, um, because we have previously, we have problem of the illegal immigration. So we need to have a very secure ID card to deter illegal immigration. And also, by making use of the Smart ID Identity Card, we can also introduce further facilitation measures, like uh, introduction of the uh, automatic uh, passenger clearance, making use of the Smart Identity Card. And also, it also serves as a, as a platform for other applications. Say, uh, we can also make use of the Identity Card to serve other purposes. So that's why uh, the consultant recommend that we should use the uh, smart card as the idea. Well, actually, we, we first of all, with the consultants, they have a full strategy in place. So they give us a direction, and then we conduct a feasibility study to to work on the um, most uh, to, yeah to work on the best solution, so to say. So what kind of technology we should use, the type of card. And uh, we also include biometrics in the uh, smart identity card because we include the fingerprint template in the chip inside the chip to facilitate um, the uh, introduction of the automated passenger clearance system. So that's why the challenge is to find the right the right technology. Uh, and also, we are working on a very tight schedule because we need to replace the whole system in two years' time. So, and also we have to introduce a very cost-effective system. You know, in Hong Kong, we have to get the money, but then the system has to be very cost-effective. Otherwise, I mean, we're wasting public money. So, uh, well, um, that's, a, that's a challenge. But, but also, we need to replace the identity card for the 7 million Hong Kong uh, residents. We, we have a population of 7 million, and we have to have a program in place whereby we will issue by phases. We will ask the uh, Hong Kong residents to come over and have their ID card replaced. So it's a very big pro project indeed. On the whole, there's a lot of benefits. First of all, the uh, production time, I mean, the time uh, a resident needs to get the ID card has been shortened from 15 days to 10 days. And also, the card is more secure, it's more temper resistant. And also, um, there's a saving in manpower in the car production. And also, there's a saving in space for storage of the, car, uh, the records because previously we, we stored paper records. But with the introduction of the new smart car system, we replaced everything, I I I including the record system. So now we have a, a savings in storage. Um, and also, um, we provide a platform. So the smart ID card will provide a platform for the introduction of uh, uh, the automated passenger clearance system. And also, we write on the smart ID card, we put uh, more applications onto that. Now we can use the smart identity card to store the uh, e-cert, and it's also uh, served as the um, library card. And also, we have room, I mean, we have reserved further space in the chip so that we can put in uh, other applications if there is a need that arise. The issue is that um, Leveraging on leading edge technology is not the crucial and the sole factor for implementing a successful project. When designing a, a, such a big and complex project, um, the key factor lies in business process re-engineering. We can't just automate the existing process and then just issue a smart identity card as such. We have to revamp the system, we have to um, uh, re-engineer the whole process whereby we can in, in, uh, produce a car that is uh, very cost effective and very efficient and we also have to get the user involvement at the early design stage because we 
Well, we introduced the system, but it's not used by us. We are not the user. We are not the ultimate user. We have to get the users in, involved so that they're satisfied with the system and they, uh, they, they would like to use it. And also, um, of course, with such a complex project, the implementation must well, be well planned. And also, we have to monitor this, the development, the whole development process very closely.